I'm going to use these two as my examples because each of these is a different kind of question, isn't it? Right? What kind of answer is going to be expected out of this? Subjective. Well, it's wait, age? <laughs> but age. <laughs> so, okay, so age is a fact. It's an objective thing. Okay, and um. Significantly, you're going to be answering on a scale, right? Like your ages from here to here, okay? So a scale, a scale is a category of question, okay? Now, age, age is not the only kind of thing you can put on a scale, right? I guess we would say you could put that on like a continuum. It's like, because any value in between here and here is fine. So a uh, continuum is a type of scale type question. Did anyone else have any other kinds of scale type questions that aren't actually a continuum? There's only a very limited number of options you can pick. Yeah, Laura. Maybe like number of siblings. Okay, number uh, I'd still say you could. I, I have a cousin-in-law and she's just had, like she's literally just had her seventh child. Um, so I'm going to leave that one as a continuum. Um, I'm going to give you a special, oh yeah, no, no. Okay, very good. Now, this, this, the example that managers gave, a scale of 1 to 10 or a scale of 1 to 5, um, or like a very, you know, absolutely disagree, absolutely agree, like that type of thing, all of these have a common name. They're called Likert scales, named after some person who did statistical design. Um, L-I-K-E-R-T, a Likert scale. Um, yeah, you may or may not like it. Uh, so this is often called a response scale. So the idea here is, it's still a scale, but you may not actually have numbers on there. Like when I say um, disagree, agree, or um, passionate about, etc., like you're not necessarily going to have one, two, three, four, five, but they're still on a scale of some kind. Okay. Um, now, this "Are you satisfied?" question. What are the answers for this? Yes and no. Yes and no, yes. right? So this is part of a, again. This is part of a category of questions which I would probably call as multiple choice, right? It's like you, you have to choose from two different things. Well, now again, for multiple choice... Well, no, because you can have an other option. Well, I can say other options. To yes, some right. extent. Uh, okay, okay. Like, alright, alright. So then you can sort of, um, again, sort of split apart multiple choice, and like like people have mentioned, if you're doing society and culture, you've already thought about question designs, so you're like, I've done this to <laughs> death, but that's okay, stay with me, because not everyone is society. Um, the, are you satisfied if it's yes or no, okay? What we call this is a binary multiple choice question. Binary. That's just a fancy word. Buy like a bicycle, right? It's just, there are only two options, right? So, yes, no. Yes, no is the most common one. Uh, another one might be true, false. So, if there are only two options, then we call that a binary multiple choice. But, of course, frequently, as we've just been mentioning, there's often more than one choice, or more than two choices, I should say. So if you've got more than two, more than two options, again, there's a couple of different ways you could do this. Um, one of the ones I didn't get to show you was um, if you are talking about, oh, who would I vote for, right? It's like, well, I might be able to, I might be happy to vote for several different things. So you like check multiple boxes within your multiple choice, right? And we're okay to accept um, multiple answers. Whereas other times it's like, well, it's, you're either this or you're that. Now, if you're either this or that or whichever one, we would call that an exclusive choice. One choice excludes all the other ones. So you have to be this or that, but not both at the same time. And of course, if you're happy to choose more, we would call that not exclusive. Okay. So we've got our, our multiple choice, we've got our scales. There's one more, it's the kind of question which um, Akil, you've been trying to avoid. Do you want to explain what it is? The kind of question you've been trying to not oh, put into your... I was going to say, open-ended. Yeah, very because good. everyone that I've seen so far, they just give the most ridiculous answers. <laughs> it's like, let students actually say something, and they'll say something crazy. So, open-ended, or another way of saying that is free response. 